Windows 7 customization tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a little third party application for 32 bit of Windows 7 and 64 bit, and it's called 7 Stacks. You can go ahead and check it out by clicking on the arrow to uh, check out all the features that are on it. Mainly, we are just looking at 7 Stacks. These other ones are from the company itself, but I recommend to just click on Read More under 7 Stacks. After you click on Read More, you should navigate to this page. Go ahead and read the information about it. But for this video, we are going to download it and install it and show everything about it. So under Download 7 Stacks, you click on that and make sure you have WinZip installed. So go to WinZip.com in order to get the program. Once you have that program, save this zip file to your desktop. You should get a little something like this. It says 7 Stacks Setup and it should show WinZip icon. Basically, right click on it, click on WinZip, and then extract it here. Once you've done that, you should see a setup file, 7 Stacks Setup. So um, just. I'll go ahead and install it and I'll be back once it's done installing. Just to let everyone know, 7stacks does no harm to your computer. I'm so glad it doesn't because it can sometimes do harm if you're going to customize your computer. This one is just a third party program and it makes no mistake. So I'm going to launch it after the installation. You can choose a folder to stack, but it must be in your documents or on your desktop that's a folder. So let's say I make something. Uh, new folder and then I name it shortcuts after that's done I'm gonna right click copy these because you have my desktop shortcuts and paste once I'm done pasting them I go back to the program it would ask what directory I want I'm gonna go to my libraries documents and my documents and I should see shortcuts the caption you can make it something different instead of the folder name itself I'm just gonna capitalize my s the icon, you can leave the icon by itself unless you want to put something customized from Windows or something of your own. Um, I'm just going to choose that shortcut icon. Where are you? Ah, there we go. Okay. Show explore item. You can go ahead and check more of the boxes. Um, hide file extensions. Display thumbnails of image. So if you want to display the thumbnails like on the website, just like that, you can go ahead and do that. I want that. You can uh, make the font size bigger, vertical stack, grid. So I'm going to try out vertical stack, create shortcut on desktop. Once it's done created, you drag it into the taskbar. And then it should pop up just like that when you click on it or when you right click on it. So what's pretty cool about it is that when you click on it, and let's say the shortcut I already made is called favorite games. So when I click on that, it gives like an interface just like the iPad, and it will make a menu like this. Um, I don't think they have a feature to return back to the menu, because I, I can't seem to do it. You have to click on the icon again. If you guys do know, go ahead and show me. You can go ahead and explore shortcuts, which will open the folder. You can edit this stack, and it will come up with all the preferences you want. But you don't have to have everything on your desktop, just bring this to your documents and you should be good. Now the appearances and all the preferences you can do, white text on the background, animate when opening and closing. You can go ahead and try all these features. Click OK. Try it again. It should come out like that. If there's lag right now because I am on a computer with low specifications. Uh, yeah, you can choose either vertical stack or grid create another one I'm gonna name this two. create shortcut on desktop but yeah try this out and it should work out pretty good for you now it comes out like that I prefer the original way which is the grid well not necessarily the grid but it's uh, vertical so yeah this is the video thank you for watching please subscribe enjoy the program you can use it if you want if you think it's useless don't use it thanks for watching guys and goodbye